Hello everyone. In this session, I am doing one problem on sequence impedance and sequence network that is in model 3. So, this is the problem. A 250 MVM, 11 kV, 3 phase generator is connected to a large system through a transmission line and a line is as shown in the figure. So, this is the given single line diagram for the problem. A parameters on 250 MVA base are as follows. So now observe the data for generator, transformer, line and also the equivalent system. The generator ratings X1, X2. So 1 stands for positive sequence, 2 stands for negative sequence. So positive sequence reactance, negative sequence reactance both will be equal to 0.15 per unit. Similarly, 0 sequence reactance will be equal to 0.1 per unit. This is the data for the generator. Coming to the transformer, positive, negative and zero. So all will be equal to 0 0.12 per unit. Next coming to the transmission line, positive and negative sequence reactance will be equal to 0 0.25 per unit. Then zero sequence reactance will be 0 0.75 per unit. Then the equivalent system. So look at the symbol for the equivalent system. So it may be the generator or it may be the motor. So any equivalent system we can consider here. So all the three reactances or that is positive, negative and zero will be equal to 0 0.15 per unit. So now we need to draw the sequence network diagram for a system and indicate all the per unit values for the given single line diagram. So now what does it indicate means for the given problem we don't we need not to calculate the reactances for generator transformer transmission line and also for the equivalent circuit only thing we need to draw the sequence network sequence network means it consisting of positive sequence negative sequence and also zero sequence so three sequence network we need to draw and we need to mention all the quantities in per unit so this is what the problem is so now First, we'll write the reactances. So this is the generator here. So X1, X1 will be equal to, X2 will be equal to 0 0.15 per unit. This is for the generator. Similarly, for the transformer, all the will reactants will be equal to X1, X2 will be equal to 0 0.12. So we can directly go with the drawing of the reactances here. So the drawing of the reactance diagram, it is just similar, that is positive and negative sequence, it is just similar to module 1 problem. So now first coming to the drawing of sequence network for a positive sequence network. So no need of drawing here, no need of calculation of the reactances, so directly we can draw the positive, negative and zero sequence reactance here. So now observe here, the generator it is connected to transformer, next comes the transmission line, then we have the equivalent system. So same way we will represent the positive sequence network here. So generator will be represented like this way. Then it is connected to transformer, then it is connected to transmission line, then comes the equivalent system. So then draw the reference bus. So this is the positive sequence network for a given single line diagram. So now we'll represent all the quantities the, uh, that should be expressed in terms of per unit only. This is the source voltage EG and this is the source voltage for the equivalent system. Then this is the reactance X1 in bracket generator that will be equal to X1 will be equal to 0 0.15 per unit. Similarly, this is the reactance for transformer and that value will be equal to all the three reactances will be equal to 0 0.12 per unit then this is x1 for transmission line that value will be equal to 0 0.25 per unit next comes to the equivalent system all the three reactants will be equal to 0 0.15 so s equivalent system 1 that will be equal to 0 0.15 per end. So this is a drawing of positive sequence network. So next similarly we will draw the negative sequence network. So below this only I will write the negative sequence. So I think you are, we are, uh, I have already drawn um, some of the 
examples for drawing of the sequence network so in that you have already seen how to draw the sequence network for positive negative and also for the zero so now for the negative sequence network it is just similar to the positive sequence but the source voltage eg and e es so these two it won't be present in the negative sequence so excluding these two source voltage the remaining parameters will write in the single end diagram so this is the source uh, this is this is the reactance reactance of transformer transmission line then comes the reactance of the equivalent system so this is the reference bus so now we'll mention all the parameters x2 of generator 2 stands for negative sequence so the generator x2 value that is also will be equal to 0.15 per unit then this is the reactance for transformer that value will be equal to 0.12 per unit similarly x2 for transmission line that value will be equal to 0.25 Per unit. See all the data it's already been given in your problem itself. Only thing we need to draw the reactance diagram. S equivalent system 2 that value will be 0.15 per unit. So this is the drawing of positive and negative sequence network. So next similarly I'll draw the zero sequence network. So now drawing of the zero sequence is most important. It is entirely different when compared to positive and negative sequence. So for drawing of the zero sequence, we must need to draw consider the method of connection of all the components. See in the previous session I have explained how to draw the zero sequence network for the transformer, generator and also the transmission line then equivalent system. So that idea is most important for drawing of the zero sequence network. So here I'll write one reference, the switch configuration for the understanding of drawing of the transformer, zero sequence. This is for your understanding for drawing of the transformer, zero sequence. So two switches are there. Z0 or X0 also you can consider. S1, S2, K1, K2, reference bus, primary side, secondary side. So primary switches means S1, K1 are the primary switch, P stands for primary, S2, K2 stands for secondary side, so secondary switches. So here S1 and S2, these stands for series switches, it should be considered for star connection. K1 and K2, these are shunt switches, should be considered for delta connection. So now based on the switch configuration, I will write the zero sequence network for a given single end diagram. So now observe here, the generator is there. So here the generator, it is star connected and the neutral is solidly grounded. That means we need to show with the close connection and it won't be having any source voltage that you already know. So now draw one reactance and show with one straight line so straight line here indicates that the generator it is star connected and the neutral is solidly grounded so next draw the transformer but for drawing of the transformer you need to see the switch configuration so now observe the switch configuration here so primary side so this is the primary and this is the secondary so the primary connection is delta so delta means we need to see the primary switches s1 and s2 S1 and K1 sorry. So here K1 is for delta connection. S1 is for star connection. Since there is a delta on the primary side. So what does it indicates? K1 should be closed. S1 should be open. So same way I will show it here. So S1 is open. K1 is closed. So once I close the K1 switch. The next connected component is the reactance X0. So draw that reactance. X0 of transformer this is x0 of generator next is the secondary connection it is star connected neutral is solidly grounded so now see the switch configuration of the secondary side the switches are s2 and k2 so k2 should be considered only for the delta connection so there is no delta on the secondary side so that indicates that k2 should be open now 
the switch S2. So whether to make the switch S2 open or close, we need to see the neutral connection. Since the neutral is solidly grounded, so that indicates that S2 is closed, K2 is open. So now draw one straight line. It indicates that S2 is closed and this open connection between the reactants and the reference bus. This is the reference bus indicates that K2 is open here. So this is for transformer. Next comes the transmission line. It has been drawn with the one reactance. Then comes the reactance. So even here also the reactance is star connected and the neutral is solidly grounded. So write one reactance then the straight line. So the reactance is uh, equivalent system. It is just similar to generator or the motor. It is just one synchronous machine like that you can consider. So now this is X0 of transmission line then x0 of equivalent system i'll write the values x0 will be equal to 0 0.15 per unit then x0 of the transmission line it is see x0 of the transmission line is 0 0.75 per unit x0 for transformer x0 of transformer is 0 0.12 per unit x0 for generator 0 0.12 so like this way you need to draw the sequence network for a given single end diagram. See usually these type of problems they last for 6 to 8 marks.